Excel Module 4, Working with Charts. The assignment we're working on right now is Independent Challenge 2 in the textbook 4-23. Go ahead and open 4-4. And the first thing we're going to do is create a clustered column, a 3D clustered column. So that you would need to select starting in A3 and all the way to E9 and then choose insert and I know I want a clustered column so I'll go right to column or bar chart and I would like a 3D clustered column select the chart title and then immediately start typing and it's showing up in the formula bar so enrollment comma space by division and then check and it replaces. Make sure there's no typos. And with the title selected, we'll go into Format and select under Word Art Styles. Um, the book has a certain one, fill blue, accent one, accent one shadow. If you'd like to pick something else, you're welcome to because this is being submitted into Blackboard. It is not going into SAM, so you can select anything you'd like. And then if you want to, I'm just going to um, go away from the title. If you want to go to Shape Styles and add a, a coloring behind the, uh, the shape, you can. And if you go into Shape Effects, you could, um, I like the beveled feature so you could get into um, maybe not so much shadow sometimes it makes it too too large but I think that's okay or the glow but you can choose anything you like because this is being submitted to me um, this just gives um, the edges of the the text box I'll try a glow so it's up to you what you'd like to do but if you want to experiment you certainly can try a bigger glow there you go now you can see the glow so that's fine. And then we're going to move the chart so that uh, it's in H3. And again, make sure you're moving in the empty space and you have that four arrows. And it's going to go over to H3. Then select cell F3 and type average. And then we're going to create a formula. So you can use your auto sum down arrow, average, and it should be B4 through E4. So check and go ahead and fill handle. So you added a new column, column F with the average. And if you look over to your chart, it's not showing up as an item. So what you need to do is select the chart and then choose chart design se choose select data and right now it's showing up the data range and if you hold it down you can see that it's not including the average so if you just reselect you can now include it and if you click OK and if we go over our, to our chart it shows up as average in blue. So we have a new one. It was fall, spring, summer, intercession, and now we have average. So what we're going to do is what's called a combo clustered column, and this is going to focus on the average. So with your chart still selected, choose change chart type. And down at the bottom, there's one called column, I mean combo. So go ahead and select that. and it should be the clustered column line when you scroll down make sure that the categories or the series names fall spring summer intercession they all should be clustered column only average should be line and then go ahead and click OK 
Next, we want to add data labels, but we don't want it for each of the categories. We want it just on the average tread line. So select the average line and then go to chart element and select data label. So you have it on just the um, average tread line. Click insert text box, header footer, and in the custom footer in the center, type your name. And if you'd like, in the left section, if you click the 7, that's the current date. So go ahead and click the current date. And then on the right section, if you click this X here, that'll put the file name in there for you. Click OK. There's the date. And once we their file name is complete, and it does it for you automatically, save and submit.